Hey, it's this channel again. So this time I want to give my my opinion on the top five favorite films of 2020. So enjoy. Number one, number five, Capone. What I like about Capone it's that it's sort of a mix. What happens when you mix a David Lynch movie with a David Cronenberg movie and a gangster movie? And you get something I think really unique. And I do love the slow pace of the film as it as it slowly explodes Capone's like all of you like you never you never feel like he's like you feel sorry for him, but you also know he's a fucking scumbag. But but you know, you see the regret in his eyes. Tom Hardy gives like in my opinion, I know this is an unpopular opinion, one of his best performances I've seen so far, on par with his performance of Bane and the Dark Knight Rises. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Cabone. <laughs> Number four, Sonic. Okay, unpopular opinion time. I didn't like Sonic 2 this year. I thought it was cringe, boring, frustrating. But this one, Sonic, the original Sonic, I thought was a good adaptation of the of the video game while also while also being like a also t even though it takes place in our world it never feels like the smurfs where it's just using that as an excuse to do some stupid cringe stuff but but this but this movie is basically the chemistry that james marson and sonic have are extremely adorable um, uh, adorable heartwarming and just funny. Jim Carrey gives his Jim Car his Jim most Jim Carreyest performance since I think since the Riddler in my opinion. So yeah, it's my thoughts on Sonic. Enjoy the next one. Number three, Bad Boys for 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 life. I never seen any of the Bad Boys movies, but after seeing this one, I'd really want to watch them at some point. The chemistry that Martin Lawrence and Will Smith have is truly unique, full of heartwarming moments, sorrow, complications, friendship, etc. Just amazing chemistry. I love that that the whole narrative Will Smith's son is trying to kill him, but then like he slowly discovers, wait, you're my dad, aren't you? And I thought it was amazingly well written. So yeah, that was my number three. Let's go to my number two next. Number two, Birds of Prey. Honestly, one of the one of the best feminist comic book movies ever made. I love that it's basically an all-star female cast kicking the shit out of some fucking uh, toxic ass male toxic assholes like Black Mast and v Victor Zaz. And yeah, I just enjoy a lot of female super female superheroes who kick a lot of ass. And I like that it's a it's applied that Black Mass family life. Yeah, you can see why he would hate the whole concept of family if you read the comics. So but yeah, fun movie, but if, if I have to take one issue with it with it, is it's long title. Honestly, this should have just been called Harley Quinn, and that's it. Not Birds of Prey. Hell, it doesn't even feature the Birds of Prey that much. It's mostly just a prequel to them, an origin story. It's like, well, why call it Birds of Prey? Call it, you know, uh, Harley Quinn. That's the whole movie. That's what the movie revolves around. Harley fucking Quinn. But yeah, outside of that nitpick, awesome movie. Want to see more female superhero movies? Since, like, one to give me Wonder Woman 3, a Spider Woman, etc., and any female superhero movie. That's good. That's well written. Please. Don't, don't make it ham fisted. Please. Number one, and the number one pick is Tenant. Aside from Christopher Nolan's, let's just say, controversial decision to release this movie during a pandemic, not only, like, like when like a year later no during like the com the f 
the first wave of the pandemic. I thought it was the best movie of that year from what I've seen. Like, I haven't seen any other movies that year because honestly, at that now. At that time, and kind of now, want to forget 2020 happened. But what I love about this movie is that it's a reverse time travel movie mixed with James Bond, and <laughs> yeah, it's basically a James Bond movie with time travel, and it was so amazing and weird. And holy shit, I hope Christopher Nolan does like another original movie. When he does original concept movies, he's absolutely fucking amazing. Like, he's... Sh and honestly, after seeing this movie, like, it gave me, it gave me, like, a, a, like, a weird spin in the head, but in a good way. Honestly, I want to see more movies like Tenet, like, movies that take more risk, pushes boundaries. Like, I don't need every movie nowadays to be, like, a fucking Marvel movie bland Marvel movie or heck even a or heck even even the or even like a safe movie period but yeah Tenant you rock on final score for Tenant I know okay final score for every movie that I saw that year Capone 8 out of 10 Sonic 8 out of 10 Bad Boys for Life 8, mid at 8 out of 10 uh, Birds of Prey, a mid 8 out of 10, and Tenant, a mid 10 out of 10. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.